Once you've created an event and scheduled shows on the calendar, you'll make changes to the specifics of those shows through the list view. This is where you'll go to change capacities, alter prices, publish and unpublish shows, and reach the box office and door list. To get to list view, click on your event, expand the shows menu, and click list. List view is organized as a table of your shows, their published and unpublished status, and their capacities. When you arrive on the page, it's set to show your upcoming shows, but if you need to look at a show in the past, you can change it to all, or use the month dropdown to select a specific month of shows. More often than not, you'll need to interact with your upcoming shows, but looking at your shows in the past can be useful especially if you need to do something like pull a door list from a show that happened last weekend. You'll also use List View to get an at-a-glance view of whether or not you've put a show on sale. Whether or not a show is on sale is based on the color of the line on the List View table. Shows on a white line are published and visible to anyone who visits your storefront, while shows on a gray line are unpublished and can't be seen by the public but your staff can still sell tickets to these shows through the box office or sales console. To publish or unpublish a show, click on the gear icon and click publish. Or if you want to publish or unpublish a lot of shows at the same time, you can use the checkboxes to select individual shows and use the work with button to publish or unpublish in bulk, or use the checkbox above the table to select every show on the page, and then use the Work With button. List View also helps you keep an eye on and manage your show's ticket capacities. The Capacity column shows how many tickets you can sell in total. The Open column shows the number of tickets that you have left to sell, plus the tickets that you've withheld from sale. On Sale is the count of how many tickets are still available to purchase. Off Sale is the total number of tickets that have been held back from sale. Tickets that are off sale may be put back on sale at a later time. Sold is the number of tickets that have been purchased. And Comp shows how many tickets have been given out as complimentary tickets. Now that we've covered each of the columns in the table, let's take a look on how to hold a few tickets back from sale. This is common for producers who want to have a little overflow for door sales. If you'd like to take some tickets off sale, click on the gear icon and select Take Off Sale. Enter the number of tickets you want to hold back and push the Take Off Sale button. This puts those tickets into the Off Sale column. You'll notice that the number of open tickets remains the same. This is because those tickets can be put back on sale at a later time. To put them back on sale, you would just click the gear icon again and select Put on Sale. If you're in a position where you can increase the capacity for a show, first of all, congratulations. Increasing a show's ticket capacity is done through the Show Details page. To get to Show Details, go to List View, You'll select the show date that you want to increase the capacity for, and go to the Ticket Capacity table in the middle of the page. Click on the gear icon and select Add Tickets. You'll enter the number of tickets you want to increase the capacity by, and select whether to put those tickets on sale immediately, or put them off sale so you can put them back on sale at a later time. There may be a time when you have to take an entire ticket type off sale. Perhaps you're running an early bird discount that needs to come down at a certain point, or you have a different price at the door. Either way, you'll edit that ticket type visibility through the Show Details page. If you click on the gear icon for a ticket type and select Edit, a modal window will pop up. 
This window lets you change the price and other ticketing details. And if you scroll to the bottom, there are checkboxes for ticket type visibility. The storefront and widgets checkbox controls the public facing channels where your customers can buy tickets. If this box is unchecked, the tickets will not be made public and people will not be able to buy them in your storefront. The box office and sales console checkbox controls your private sales channels for selling tickets over the phone or at the door. If this box is unchecked, then your staff members will not be able to sell that ticket type. And if you have a ticket type that you don't want sold, either at the door or over the phone, uncheck box office and sales console. Either way, if you make changes to your ticket types, click save. Also keep in mind that any changes you make to your ticket types on the show details page only affect this show. If you want this to match the other shows in your run, you'll need to go back to list view and make the edits to your remaining shows. If you have any questions about managing your show capacities, publishing or unpublishing shows, or editing your ticket types, please send us an email to support at artful.ly.